Hey guys, this is Arlen of Awake and Sponda. Um, and today I wanted to do this video about thoughts and the power of thoughts. Um, and it came to me because of something I experienced yesterday. Um, first of all, I've been noticing lately um, a couple couple times it's come to me through just you know, scanning through information and stuff um, that the Schumann residence um, has had a major spike yesterday or it was in the past like 25 hours or so. Um, there's been a lot of spikes going on energetically and, um, and there's a lot going on in the spatial weather and all that as well. But um, with, with that said, um, you know, I think I really felt this yesterday um, and I had this, this um, emotional reaction yesterday. Not reaction, I would say that, but um, an emotional an old emotional blueprint came up for me and, it, and I don't think it was really anything to do with me per se but collectively I think I was feeling the divine feminine collective um, and you know we're going through a lot of shifts right now and right now where the divine feminines are we are literally doing some last purging on old blueprints of uh, the distorted feminine and um, releasing especially these old fears of abandonment and rejection and um, just displacement, you know, and, um, and I was just sitting there yesterday and this is how it happens, guys, especially for me and for many other light workers and whatnot out there um, and divine feminines. Um, we've been working real hard on this and on ourselves and not just for us, but for everybody. And um, I was just sitting there with my little sister, Soraya, having a great time. Um, fully confident, fully in everything, you know, I, I definitely know where I'm at, you know, this is how I always know it's not just, it's not me, um, it just, you know, a thought came to mind, and all of a sudden that thought catapults in another thought, and another thought, I'm like, whoa, whoa, I'm like, where are all these doubts and fears, and where's all this coming from, you know, and I knew it wasn't all me, because I've, I've learned to identify that, um, but any part that was me, I definitely um, nipped that in the bud, you know, um, this is where when you start learning how to handle your thoughts, when it comes up like this, you know how to deal with it. Um, but however, it did come up, and um, uh, I know it was for Divine Feminine Collective, and um, I just want to say you guys are doing so good, and um, you know, everything is coming, and to just hang tight, and I want to encourage you to let go of the past, past ties to old emotions, this old paradigm, um, the idea of giving, overgiving and overextending ourselves to make people happy. We can't do this anymore. We cannot do this anymore. It's only devaluing our worth and we know our worth, right? So we want to keep this going. and. Uh, keep going in the right direction and it is pulling the divine masculine right up to where he needs to be right next to us and um, pulling everything forward so we need to continue to clear our path and do our duty and um, you know become the masters of our emotions you know um, and not letting the emotions run the show the old ways the past ways and that's where thoughts all this comes in this is where we get it begin to change otherwise we're going to stay in that distorted feminine template and that is not going to work i mean some are going to choose to stay there yes but um you know we're here for a reason and we're here to pull this new earth in and we're here to set a new standard um, of love true love and the true the, the true feminine the true masculine this is what's coming to light and um Anyway, I just want to encourage you, and do not fear when you have to say no to people, or when, um, you know, if something's not flowing, if something's not resonating with you, if someone is not flowing or resonating with you, no matter who it is, it's okay to step away from that. It's okay to go, okay, fine, moving along, um, because what's going to resonate with you is going to, it's going to flow with you. It's going to come along with you. Remember that, okay? Anything that you get it, it's causing resistance, let it go, let it go, let it flow, because when we let it go, you know, the right things will show up in the right time, in the right place, um, listen to your intuition, you know, you know, emotions don't run the show, you do it.
Anyway, um, with that said, I want to move into, let's see, what do I have? Okay. Ah, kind of got off track there. Or not off track, I'm on track, but anyway. Thoughts. So I wanted to talk a little bit about affirmations today and how you can go about setting some affirmations. Um, whether you, I mean, you may have already do this all the time, but and, and maybe this video is not for you. Um, but for somebody out there, there's somebody who maybe needs to start talking to themselves a little nicer and start rewiring the brain, the program, the program that's been run, and we got to get rid of that. Um, so the way we do that and, and continue to to build our momentum into manifesting these things and creating our reality and changing the energy of our body to attract those things, we have to change our thoughts and we have to stay on this. It, it takes consistency to build the momentum to literally change your outside reality and what's showing up. Okay, so <clears throat> what I would like you to do is I would like you to find a time, dedicate a special time to this, this activity in general, and get a pen, get a paper. Um, and I think what you really should do is get some frequency-minded music. If you want to go that far, you don't need any of that. If you, if, you, if you don't need it, you don't need it. However, it would be kind of cool because, you know, frequency-minded music is also another way to reprogram ourselves, our body, because our body, our mind is absorbing those sounds, and they're intentional sounds, resonance, frequencies, their life. But um, it will help integrate your physical body too and your mental body. It just It's just another way to help heal yourself. Um, so like I use frequency mind and music when I meditate um, a lot of the time. And a lot of the time it helps us. It's not as intimidating when we have the music there. When you say meditation, people a lot of times want to freak out. Um, which is a sign of resistance, and you need to check that. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, so anyway, fine. Okay, I want you to set a time. Get your pen and paper. Nice space. Nobody's there to bug you. Nothing. It's just a nice, quiet time. Your phone's off, okay? I want you to play this music. And if you don't have any, um, you can go to listeningtosmile.com. Listening to Smile. I'll put it down in the box listeningtosmile.com and um, if you want to purchase some music there you can use my code it's arlenruddy19 I will put that down in the box as well um, but it's it's music from my brother and I know I know him so I trust him and um, it's safe it's good so anyway there's that so I want you to play your music <sighs> which I should be playing some right now <laughs> I want you to sit there and I want you to begin to start taking some slow, deep breaths. In, breathing. In, starting your, your belly and moving up. Taking the breath up, up as far as you can, up into your head. Okay? Slow and steady. So, and holding for three seconds. One, two, three. And releasing for six seconds. So we're going to do a count of five, five going in, three at the top, three. <laughs> My fingers, <laughs> they work. Um, and six counts going out. This count in breath, if you if you already got your breath situation going on, you don't need to hear this. But for some people, we need, you know, the extra bit of encouragement and what this will do is help to calm your body and calm your mind and I want you to do that maybe five times at least okay bringing yourself to a calm clear state of mind and from that point I want you to open your thoughts up Ask your higher self to come through and to show you what affirmations to write down on that piece of paper. Listening to your higher self, just sit there in the quietness. 
ask your higher self, what is it that you would like me to affirm in myself? Sit with it and listen. You know, all these answers are right there and you're inviting your oversoul, your soul, to let you in, to tell you what you need to affirm. And I want you to sit in this and let, let, let the, the thought, let everything just come through. Let it come through. Going back to your breath, if you start going astray, go back to your breath, start knowing it. This is to calm yourself, clear your mind, and allow yourself to open up and listen to your higher self. Who is always speaking to you, I must say. This is just opening up to listen. Okay? And when you're ready, you'll open your eyes, and I want you to just start flowing. I want you to just start writing down whatever affirmations, affirmations are saying things. And this can involve, so everybody's going to be a little different because we're all in different places, and right now there's different important things that we need to affirm in ourselves. You know, it could be, um, I am love. I am grateful. I am courageous. I am smart. These are very simple affirmations. Um, I accept myself in the present moment as I am now. Whatever it may be, there's all kinds of things, guys. Um, um, I am learning new things. I am growing every day. I am a success. I have vision of my purpose. I am good at everything I do. Hey, it goes on and on and on. Um, it's limitless, you know, and um, what we're doing with these affirmations is reaffirming the, the goodness within us. We're reaffirming um, our manifestation, what we want to create into our lives. Whatever you want to create in your life, whatever new things, new accomplishments, new intentions, new goals, your purpose, your mission, this is what we're affirming. You know, um, our body is made of, you know, we <laughs> our bodies are tend to be living in the past until we retrain it into our new reality. So we have to gain the momentum, and that is why we're doing this today. Okay, so what I want you to do with those, once you get those written down, and you just go as as you go as long as you want until spirit will let you spirit will let you know. Your higher self, you'll know when you're done, okay? Um, now, I want you to keep that, and what I want you to do is every morning, or find your little ritualistic time whenever, you know, it's your special time to, to pray or meditate or whatever you got going on. I want you to pull that paper out. I want you to read it. I want you to read it out loud, if you can, if you got stuff going on and you can't do that. Read it. Read it internally. But what I want you to do is when you read it, feel into it. Close your eyes if you have to. I want you to begin integrating these words because words are powerful, guys. So integrate these words within you. And in turn, you will begin to memorize these affirmations. And then they'll become like little files that you can pull on hand when you're in a situation and maybe you begin to get anxious or maybe you begin to doubt or maybe you begin to fear something, boom, you go, oh, no, let me pull that file. And you start reaffirming this internally. Start reaffirming it internally. Repeat it over and over like a mantra. This is why we use mantras. Continue it to repeat it and it integrates. And you know what happens? Your energy begins to shift. It's very simple. It's amazing. It works for me. I do this still. I do this all the time. Um, and there's been times I've had to pull it, those files a lot more. You know, <laughs> yesterday I had to pull a file for sure. And then I had to pull a file also remembering that that wasn't all me. Um, but 
my point is um, this is going to help you. This is going to help you grow. This is going to help train and get the moment, train you, train your brain, train your thoughts to get the momentum going enough that it changes your energy. And this is what we're here to do. And you'll be amazed because once it changes your energy, <laughs> all of a sudden it's like a whole new world. And you are that reality. It's, it's beautiful. And I want to see all of you guys experiencing that. Um, so try this. I hope it helps. Um, I know that it will. If, if activated properly, it's going to work. And um, that's it. Um, yeah. So as within, so without. As above, so below. Love is all that is. Mind your thoughts and love yourself. When you heal yourself, you heal the world. And where your thoughts go, energy goes. Remember that. Thoughts are everything. And right now is a crucial time to really, really remember who you are. And really remember you have the power. I'm here to empower you and help you in any way I can. I love you guys, and I thank you. Bye.